Earlier today, when I got home from running errands, I found two dogs running the streets of my neighborhood. A beautiful brindle French bulldog and a black Pekingese. Because I can't ignore dogs running loose for fear of them getting hit by a car and simply to help the owners find their pets, I lured the dogs to my house with nothing more than attention. Luckily, I soon found the owners, who were out scorning the streets looking for the runaway dogs. I also tried to help loose dogs because I hoped someone would do the same for my dogs if they ever got out without my knowledge. As someone with a very high regard for animals, I can't imagine anyone who would see an animal in need and turn a blind eye. That is why I'm so partial to stories about the hurt, injured, and abandoned dogs who are taken in by people who donate their time, money, and energy to rescuing these animals who don't have loving owners to take care of them. This is a story of a dog who was named Bethany. She was found on the streets and rescued by Hope for Paws and Bill Foundation who paid for her treatment. The transformation of this poor animal is the reason people get addicted to helping dogs. Here is Bethany's story. After receiving a call about an injured dog living on the streets, a rescue team from Bill Foundation went out to find her. Bethany had severe skin infections and her paws were swollen and painful. Most dogs who have lived on the streets are weary of people, but Bethany seemed friendly. She must have had a family at some point in time earlier in her life. We will never know how she ended up in this condition, living on her own. Here she was, safely in the car and headed towards the beginning of a new life. You couldn't even tell what type of dog she was because she was missing so much fur due to parasites. After diagnosing her with severe Demodex mange as well as bacterial infections, Bethany was given a medicated bath as the first steps towards recovery. Those poor swollen paws, they make me hurt just looking at them. However, Bethany is handling her bath like a champ. What a sweetheart. After her bath, she was fitted with an Elizabethan collar to prevent her from chewing and licking her wounds, which would slowly heal, as well as preventing her from removing the IV catheter, which was rehydrating her after spending so much time on the streets. Only three days after her rescue and the swelling is already going down and the hair is starting to come back. Day 5 and her paws are no longer red and swollen and she is starting to look a lot more comfortable. Day 6 and her personality is coming through. She is looking and acting like the beautiful dog that she is. Day 36 and you would never know a little over a month ago she was living on the streets and so weak that she could hardly stand. What I love about dogs is that they are so loving and forgiving. Even after going through hell, her story hasn't kept her from finding happiness with her foster family. She is happy and healthy and has made lots of doggy friends in her foster home. This lucky dog is looking for a forever home, a home that will love and spoil her as she deserves. I love rescue stories like this. Dogs are too wonderful not to be treated with respect and love. We don't know Bethany's beginnings, so who's to say how she ended up in the condition she was in when Bill Foundation and Hope for Paws helped her? We will never know if she ran away from home or if she was abandoned by a heartless family. It's sad that the latter happens all too often. It would be better if people never got dogs if they aren't willing to make a commitment for the life of the dog. I own an Irish Wolfhound, which is one of the largest dog breeds in the world, and when we needed to move and find a new rental, I did everything I could to find a rental that allowed my dog to come with us because he is family. I would never move to a place that would force me to get rid of him. People tend to take the easy way out and get rid of their dog because it's hard to find places that let you keep them. But if you aren't willing to fight to keep your dog, then you should have never gotten a dog in the first place. Dogs are family, and they should be treated like family until they die, after they've become inconvenient. People tend to blame breeders for the reason so many dogs end up at shelters, but the bigger reason so many dogs are at shelters is because of the people who walk away from their pets, the people who don't realize lab puppies often chew for years, or that blue healers need a job and can be very hyper and destructive if they get bored, the people who love their puppies but don't take into account that puppies grow up, which means you have to love dogs more than puppies. If everyone who ever got a dog, from a breeder or from the pound, kept it forever, it would significantly cut down the number of dogs that wind up at shelters or on the streets like Bethany. I pray that Bethany finds a forever home, and I hope that everyone is able to donate to Hope for Paws to ensure that they are always able to rescue animals in need.